more on Variant. In the early days, Variant referred to a comic book that was obviously different, but it was different because of an error. Perfect example of this would be Sandman number one, volume one, which shows the original covers were blue, and as the printer ran out of ink, it went from blue to purple. So these comics are not only considered errors, but they're also considered variants. They're variants on the regular cover. After 1995, the big two started printing their variants, their variant covers, with different artists, for the most part. This is the start of the variants that we know today. Each publisher handles variants differently. Comic variants are sold to us as open order, which is mostly DC Comics, where we can order as many of a variant as we wish. And then you have tiered variants, or incentive variants, they're also called. And this would be if you order 10 of a standard cover you can get one of a variant cover and they have different tiers so they'll have one in 10 one in 15 one in 25 one in 50 one in 100 one in 500 and so on marvel also puts in a percentile comic what's called a percentile variant uh, also known as if then um, if you order 200 percent more of fantastic four number one than you did of avengers three you may order this comic and they really run across the board 150 percent 200 percent 300 percent it makes it very difficult to order because they're always tying it to a comic that came out four to five months beforehand image does hidden variants a hidden variant is where they insert a variant comic into the print run without telling anyone perfect example of this is uh walking dead occasionally they'll put in pink signatures where the normal comics don't have them there's also comic con exclusive variants comic shop exclusive variants artist variants and the rarest variants are dc's rrps which stands for retail roundtable promotion comics and marvel's individual shop thank you comics you'll find that variant prices will be all across the board going from cover price up to many hundreds of dollars depending on desirability of the comic and the rarity of the comic i hope that answers your basic questions about variants if you have any other questions, comic book related questions, just ask them below and I'll try to answer them. If you would, please hit that like button. It really helps us out. And please subscribe for more videos.